everyone. It's a beautiful fall day and I am on my way over to the farm to help Dan and David prepare our Dakota Tears onions for winter storage. So our onions were actually bred to store all winter long, keep really well so that you can have onions the entire winter into next spring and actually into next summer until you bring in your next onion harvest. So we're never without onions here and I just love that. So let me take you over to the farm and I will show you the process. By August, the onions stop sending out new blades and are storing their energy in their bulbs. We harvest about the end of August, as soon as the leaves start tipping. And then we put them out on the rack to dry. We keep them in a shaded location and wheel the rack in and out of the garage to keep it away from heavy dews and of course any rains. By October they're pretty much dried down and ready to begin prepping for storage and that's what we're up to today. Onions take three to four weeks to fully dry down and cure for storage. And then as you're prepping the onions, you'll want to carefully inspect them to make sure that they will store well, culling any that show signs of rot. We also select out all the smaller ones as we go because those won't store very well over the winter, so we just designate those to eat first. Once they're cured, just remove the dried tops the roots at the base of the onions and any dirt from the skins, but leave as much of the skin, the protective coating intact as possible. So this onion is obviously a cull, as is this one. So check carefully for any kind of softness or moisture. Here's an example of one where the base of the stem didn't dry down. That won't keep. Any that have a real thick neck or stem, we eat those right away too. They won't store well. And these have had some thrip damage. You can see the speckling on the skins and they won't store well, but you could peel back those layers and eat them right away. This is where we store our onions. It's down in the farmhouse basement, and as you can see, it's lined with styrofoam. We built these bins to store our onions. They're just made out of pine boards with a plywood base, fluted for easy access. We line the bins with newspaper. These are onions that are too small really for storage, so they're designated to be eaten first. So we just layer the onions in the bins, even them out as much as possible across the bins. The room stays about 50 degrees for the most part. Maybe in the dead of the winter, if it's really cold outside, it might get down to 45 or so. But stays a pretty steady temperature, which is ideal for storage. You also want good air circulation, so don't stack the onions too deep. Couple layers. So we hope you found this information useful. If so, please like and subscribe. Thanks, and we'll see you again next time.